In this video, we're going to look at how to cite sources properly using the Council of Science Editors, or CSE, style, which is one of the styles used in science and biology. We'll cover where you need to cite and how to use the name year system for CSE style. First, where do you need to put citations? When you cite sources, your citation always needs to have two parts. The first part is in your paper or lab report, at the end of every sentence that uses ideas from a source. This lets readers know which source you used and is called an in-text citation. The second part of your citation is the list of all the sources you've used, which goes at the end of your paper or lab report and is called a list of references. This part contains all the information that you would need if you wanted to locate a copy of each source you've used. The two parts work together. The in-text citations refer to the full information about the source listed in the list of references. You need to have both parts to cite correctly and avoid plagiarism. Next, we'll look at what information you need to create a citation. CSE requires specific pieces of information about each of your sources, which look a bit different for different types of sources. For a scholarly article, you'll need the author and the title of the article. You'll also need the title of the journal the article is published in and the date. The location information includes the volume, issue, pages, the URL or web address, and the DOI, which is the unique ID number assigned to the article. Don't list the database you found the article in. For a book, you'll need the authors, the book title, the publisher, the place of publication, and the publication year. Some books have chapters written by different people. If that's the case, you'll need to cite the individual chapter rather than the book. You'll need information on the chapter's author and title, the title of the book the chapter is published in, the editors of the book, the publisher, the place of publication, the year, and the chapter's pages. Websites don't always have as much information available. You'll need to provide all the information you can find, though, including the author, the title of the page, the title of the website or the organization the site is published by, the date, and the page URL. Just because you find a source online, it doesn't mean you should cite it as a website. If you're using an online article or book, you'll need to cite it as an online article or book, not as a website. Next, we'll see how to cite using the name year system of the CSA style. In CSE style, you have some choices. You can use a numbered system where a number appears at the end of your in-text citation, and then your reference list is a numbered list. Or you can use the name year system, where you list author last names and year in your in-text citations, and then you arrange your list of references in alphabetical order by author last name at the end of your paper or lab report. We'll focus on the name year system. In CSE name year style, you need to put information in brackets at the end of every sentence where you refer to a source. What you include in the brackets depends on how you refer to the source. If you mention an idea from a source in your own words, Include the author's last name and then the year. If you mention the author's name in your sentence, you'll only need to include the date in brackets right after the mention. CSA name year style consists of rules on how to arrange and format all this information into a citation at the end of your paper in the reference list. Reference lists are unnumbered and appear in alphabetical order by author last name. Multiple works by the same author are listed in chronological order. Let's break down a citation for a journal article in a CSE name year style in detail so we can see what's involved in formatting properly. First, for articles with up to 10 authors, list all the authors, last name first, followed by their initials. Separate each of the authors with a comma. After the authors, put a period and then the year of publication, followed by another period. Next is the title of the article. The first word is capitalized, and the rest are in lowercase letters except for proper names, proper adjectives, acronyms, and genus names. After the title, place a period and then the name of the journal that the article was published in. Use the standard journal title abbreviation, or the entire name of the journal, and then another period. If you don't know the proper journal title abbreviation, look it up in CASI, an online abbreviation search tool from the American Chemical Society. Next, list the date you accessed the article online in square brackets, starting with year, then month, then day. After the square brackets, put a semicolon. Then list the journal volume, followed by the journal issue number in brackets, then a colon. 
List the page number separated with a hyphen followed by a period. Then list the web address or URL for the article followed by a period. Finally, list the DOI if available and finish with a period. This is what a journal article citation in CSE style should look like in your reference list. As you can see, small details like punctuation make a difference, so pay attention to them. You'll need to refer to a guide to CSE style that lists all the citation rules you need to follow for different types of sources, and to CASI for journal title abbreviations. Those are the basics of citing in CSE style, but let's take a quick look at a tool to make citing easier. There are lots of automated citation tools out there. Some are a lot more accurate than others. The library supports one that's free and widely used in science called Mendeley. You can use Mendeley to insert citations as you write and automatically format both the in-text citations and list of references in CSE style. This tool isn't perfect though, so you'll still need to double check to make sure all your citations are properly formatted. If you have any questions, please ask us at library.wlu.ca help ask us.